In this video, we're going to create a Python program to count the number of lowercase characters in a string. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter in the string. So we'll have text is equal to input and the string text colon as an argument. So the input function is going to prompt the user with the text, text colon. The user can then enter in the string and hit enter. When they do, the input function is going to return that string and we're going to store it into the text variable. Next, we'll create a variable called count to keep track of the number of lowercase characters in the string, and we'll initialize it to zero. So we'll have count is equal to zero. Next, we'll make a for loop to go through each character in the string text. So we'll have for character in text. So this loop body is going to execute for each character in the string text. And we're going to check to see if that character is lowercase using the is lower method. So we'll have if character dot is lower is true, then in this case, we're going to increment count by one. So the is lower method is going to return true if the character is lowercase and false otherwise. And if the character is lowercase, we're going to increment the count by one. And the loop is going to go through each character in the string. So by the time this loop is done, we'll have stored the count of lowercase characters into the count variable, and we can now print it out. So we'll have print, and we'll have the string count colon, and the actual count value itself. And so the count value will be prefixed with the text count colon. So we can save this and give our program a try. We'll enter in the string sum test text, and we get a count of seven, and that makes sense because we have three lowercase characters here and then four here for seven total. Now, one thing we could do is put this logic in a function. So that way we can call the function in different places in our source code whenever we need to get the number of lowercase characters in a string. So we'll actually cut this here and then we'll paste it up here and we'll put it inside a function body. So we'll call the function count underscore lowercase and text is now going to be a parameter of this function. Now we're gonna indent this code here to make this logic part of the function body. And we're gonna actually return the count now instead of printing it out. So the logic is the exact same as before. We're still counting the number of lowercase characters the exact same way as before. The difference is text is now actually a parameter of the function. And we're gonna pass in a string to the function as an argument. And instead of printing out the count, we're going to return the count from the function. So down here, we could call the function now. We'll have count is equal to count underscore lowercase, and we'll pass it text as an argument. Now count and text here, these are global variables. Text and count here, these are local variables of the count lowercase function. So these are actually different variables, even though they have the same name. I just wanted to make that clear because that might be confusing. So we can save this and give this version a try. So we'll run a program again, and we'll enter in some test text, and we get a count of five. And that makes sense because we have one, two, three, four, and then five lowercase characters. So this is how we can count the number of lowercase characters in a string using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.